Hi, my name is Antonio Edward, and um, I'm a big fan of Microsoft Office 365, Windows Phone 7, and I'm also a really big fan of uh, Microsoft Link 2010, Microsoft Office, Xbox Live. I mean, just to name it, uh, I'm just a big fan of all the different softwares that are available through Microsoft because it, of the collaboration um, and the techniques that they use to uh, make businesses uh, exceed. And even though Xbox is not really a big part of, uh, of the business productivity, it is a big part of the Windows Phone 7, which uh, if an employee was issued a Windows Phone 7 to communicate with their SharePoint site, on the side, they can have a little bit of fun with Xbox Live to uh, pretty much do what they want. And I use uh, Office 365 just to play with. I have an account uh, that I use to play with to learn it, um, to find out what it can do. I use Enterprise 3. I even submitted a request to uh, Microsoft saying, hey, you know, um, I like to extend my trial just so I can play with it some more because I want to uh, sell Microsoft products and become a partner. And um, so, and they graciously did it. So, and I was very surprised um, that it was that easy to do. Um, Microsoft is putting a lot of money, a lot of time into producing a productivity suite that will work for businesses. Um, you take a very small business with like 15, 25, 50 people, okay, like a restaurant, for instance. And that restaurant can allow their employees to have access to their schedules, sales projections, events. And on that same platform, they can design their website, their, you know, their front-end website, as well as the back-end internet site. And let's say that owner has three different restaurants in a city or three different restaurants in different cities around the country. He can uh, link them all together so they can all share. Using Microsoft Link, um, you can collaborate with several businesses out there, um, your clients, your suppliers. Um, let's say, for instance, uh, Barilla is one of your uh, suppliers. You can literally communicate with them because they also use Microsoft Link. There are so many different uses uh, to Office 365. If you have the Enterprise account, the Enterprise 3 or above, you can actually use Microsoft Office Professional 2010, which gives you word processing, spreadsheets by using Excel, PowerPoint for presentations, Outlook and a host of other professional office programs that Microsoft makes. Um, if you don't have that in, in you're on the go or you're using a computer at home and you don't have Microsoft Office Professional, guess what? They have web apps. Now web apps is very limited. It's not as fluid or as easy to use. Well, it's easy to use, but it doesn't have the functionality that the actual application has. Okay. But what you can do is uh, allow people to gain access to your documents and they can edit the words. They can at least see the presentation and if they see something that needs to be corrected, they can make corrections, fix mixed spellings, um, correct grammar. Because, you know, sometimes spell check and grammar check does not work for every single moment. And it's like, okay, that's the wrong there. Let's change it to the other there. And now uh, they can make those corrections and upload it to the SharePoint site so that the rest of the company can see it no matter where they're at. Okay, even on their Windows Phone 7. People say, okay, Android is a better phone, iPhone is a better phone. Well, I'm not going to tell you that they're not better phones because that's not true. Android is a great phone. iPhone is a wonderful phone. It has great uh, architecture in it. I mean, it's designed really well by Apple. However, for business, Windows Phone 7 has what it takes to run a business using the SharePoint and Exchange environment. All you got to do is just add in the credentials for your Exchange account. And if you're using Office 365, it's really easy. Just your email address and your password. And voila, 
you are ready to start using your phone off of your Office 365 account. Now, Microsoft say, you know, Google is doing the same thing, Google Apps. They're charging month, uh, well, they actually charge by the year, and it's $50 a year per user, and which is a good price, but Google doesn't have all the tools that Microsoft Office 365 have. Um, I use Google Apps on one domain, and I use Microsoft Office 365 on another domain, and I have to say that I really do prefer how Microsoft Office 365 handles business a lot better than Google Apps. Um, Google Apps has a few more features. They have groups. They have all kinds of great um, features that um, allow them to be what Google is today. And for companies that want to use Google Apps, I'm not going to sit there and tell them, oh, you're doing the wrong thing. No, don't do that. I'm not going to do that because Google Apps, there's nothing wrong with it. However, 365 has all the tools that people are familiar with. It has all the latest software. I mean, anytime there's an update for any type of software out there, Microsoft will automatically upload those updates because it's all in the cloud. You know, so SharePoint, uh, I don't know, SharePoint 2012 come out, automatically you will have SharePoint 2012 and you will have all the latest features. So I will recommend any company. I will say, I will say this: don't choose don't choose Google Apps. If you do, okay. I'm not going to down you on that because Google Apps is great. However, Office 365 is 100% better, and I do believe that your company will exceed. And many companies are already using Microsoft type products. I'm sorry, I'm not. I don't have a headset right now. So the audio may not be that clear. I just had to get on here and say a few good things because I've been using Office 365 for a few weeks now and I love it. I think it's a great thing and I will continue paying for it. Once my trial runs out, I will continue paying for it because I think it will be great software just for me and my family to use. You know, because it's a great collaboration tool. It's a great productivity tool. It is not free. Okay. Google Apps is free up to 50 users. You have ads and a bunch of other stuff if you do the free version on Google, but it is free. Microsoft Office 365 is not free at this time. However, that may be a possibility in the future where it will be ad supported. You know, or, you know, for let's say they have like Microsoft Office Family Package or something like that. You know. Um, that that is a possibility, and I can see that that happening. Hopefully, in the future, I don't work for Microsoft, so you know I don't have any insights on anything that's coming up in the future. But I do uh, stay informed about what's happening with Microsoft by going to their Facebook page, their Twitter page, their actual website, Microsoft.com, and also I go to Google Apps and I stay on on top of what they're trying to do like the Google Plus that they're about to release pretty soon here um, to see if that's going to be like the next social networking trend um, that's going to take Facebook out. Who knows? Um, also, I'm staying on top of the Yahoo merger with Microsoft, the AT&T T-Mobile merger. Um, you know, there's a whole bunch of other stuff that's, that's happening because it will affect us all as far as how we communicate, how we stay productive, and how we collaborate, and how we do business. And so, my name is Antonio Edward again, and um, I'm just using the uh, record from webcam feature on YouTube. I'm about to hit stop and upload right now. So, thank you for listening. And I'm at nine minutes. So I better stop. No, they give be fifteen minutes now. <laughs>